What's up everyone? In today's video, we teach you how to cook crabbing and catch Florida stone crabs. And today is opening day of the 2020 stone crab season. And we got some absolute giants. Video begins now. What's up, Dust Sizzle Nation? Pudding and Dust Sizzle here. What's up? Got my hands full of carcasses. Full of carcasses. We're starting our 2020, 2021 stone crab season. Our fourth consecutive season. Our fourth season and my least favorite thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> His only thing, favorite thing to do is eat the stone crabs I after I do all the work. I love to eat the crabs. And I also <laughs> love when we sell you guys the crab claws because you know she makes the custom claws, but we'll get into that some other time. Yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> today we're gonna be setting our traps. It's October 5th, so it's uh, like 10 days before you can pull the trap. So let's just set them early and then you can't pull them for another 10 days. So we are really proactive today. Yes. But uh, we got so we got ten traps. You can get five traps each. I'm not going to get into all the specific rules. We have a million videos. They did just have a couple changes in rules too, so you need to pay attention to yes, that. Yes, pay attention to your rules. Always pay attention to rules, anyhow. The size they need to be an eighth inch bigger. The claws, and we're going to go over that when we get some some, but whatever. And uh, in a couple of years, they're changing a little bit about the traps. So we got five traps each. That's the law. And up here again, like I was talking about a minute ago, I put a how to where to get the traps, how to make the traps, and all that kind of good stuff. Right, and exactly like Brian said, you're allowed to put them in the water 10 days before, and we have never done this. So I feel very confident and very, like, and, prou and proud of ourselves that we did, we're doing this on time. There's all me. There's For all once. Me. There's all me. All right, let's go. Let's fill the traps. So Sizzle, Sizzle loves to put pelagic fish in here, just talking about bait right off the bat. And, and she even has that lizard here from the other day, guys. I got a big old dolphin. Big old dolphin, lizard, snappers, jacks. She likes the pelagics. If you don't have any plagics in your freezer, you can use pig's feet or any kind of other kind of stuff like Jack that. Jack valves. Yeah, regular fish, pig's feet, chicken, whatever you want. But this is like the best family activity you can do. You build the traps, it's like one of those Boy Scout little things, and then you bring the family out here, you can teach the young ladies, your, your daughters how to mix cement and do some simple screw driving. It's awesome. Just want to really show you real quick, one of these stone crab traps, pretty simple to put together. This is all plastic. I uh, got it from Cujo Sales. I'll link that information down below if you're interested. And the way the, tr the crabs get in, doesn't matter what size they are, they come up to, uh, around the trap looking for the entrance and they come in right at the top. This is where the stone crabs come in. And we'll have all different sizes in there. For whatever reason, they can't get back out. That's the one and only entrance for them and they can't get out. There is a wood chew out here, so if this ever becomes a ghost trap and somebody cuts the line or it gets lost or what have you, this will rot out eventually over time, probably in just a few weeks time. And the smaller crabs can get out and also the bigger crabs as well. Fill it with all the kind of carcasses you want, close it up. It's got two little, uh, little latches here that you put over. The crabs can't mess with that at all. And I like to put a zip tie on here just for my benefit and to know if somebody messed with my trap. And don't forget about your tag with all your information. And like where you put them, you know, it's just like fishing. You know, you gotta put your traps out and then you see what traps do well and you see what traps do bad and you just move them. You know, good areas are like around structure. We put them around like uh, navigation aids and pylons a lot, but also in the flats. If you see the commercial guys, they'll have a line of them, you know, just in the flats. So, you know, honestly, I'm not sure which works better, but again, it's just like fishing. You move these traps around and see how it works. And after four years here in Boynton, you know, you know, you know it's not it's a terrible area to cramp, okay? It's not the Keys or up north or anything, but uh, you seem to have some spots worked out that are better than others. But you just keep moving them. Woo! All right, putting into our sizzle, doing our good deed for the day, towing these guys in. You yeah. guys really should make sure you get sea tow or tow boat, one of those services, because uh, it's not always going to be someone out here to tow you. Just about a half mile back to the ramp, but uh, talk to these guys over at the, uh, we actually put in. We're nice fellas, but it's having the boat troubles. Yep, that happens to us too. <laughs> it certainly so does. So things happen out here, so they waved us down and we're here to help, and honestly it's never happened to us before, so. Sure. So getting some good karma, hopefully get some big crabs. And uh, so we put all the crabs in, all we 10 pots. Yep. And uh, next time you see us, we will, it'll be the 15th, and we'll be picking up our crabs for a huge haul. Exactly. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> See you then. All right, what's up guys? It's exactly 10 days later and I actually got my hair done this morning and then we came out here this has been a beautiful afternoon in Florida checking our stone crab traps. 2020 season has officially begun. We're gonna go ahead and pull up this trap, see what we got inside. Let's go ahead and open it up. And we got some beautiful stone crabs in there. We definitely got to keep a claw or two. And there were some new changes to the regulations this year 
They announced those about 10 days before the start of season, so always check that information. But the, now the length of the, cra the, of the actual crab claw needs to be about an eighth, an eighth bigger. Um, so always check that information. And you can come in here and check it out, what we got. We got three beautiful stone crabs. Heck yeah. I love the start of stone crab season. Well, not only because it's stone crab season and to eat these delicious claws, but I love the way my traps look. They look brand new, spanking new for like a month or two before they get all nasty and covered in goop and stuff. And then that makes my boat dirty and makes me dirty and all that good stuff. So it's always nice to have a clean trap on the boat. I'm gonna take this crab out. I've got crab tongs here that holds them pretty well, you see there. And that definitely has a keeper claw. What we're gonna do is we're gonna collect the ones that we know are definitely keeper claws and put them in my live well. And then at the very end of the trip, we're gonna go through it and break off the crab claws. You're allowed to do that. I think you like it when you grab them. There's more danger involved. Comment right. below if you want Darcy to just grab them with her hands. All right, Bare I'll hands. grab the next one. Bare hands, preferably. I'll grab the next ones. Look what we got here. Gloves are gay. Look what we got here. What are you putting in there, a chicken? What are you gonna put in there, a chicken? A duck. <laughs> Some guy at the ramp gave us this duck. Yes. He's like, I got some bird for you. I thought he had chicken, chicken, fried chicken from Publix. Yeah. Which is, they say is a great bait, because especially for chumming and stuff, it has all kinds of oils in it. Right. But you wouldn't believe the chick, the right. chick, the slump, the chum slick, that a thing of fried chicken from Publix leaves off. But uh, anyway, <laughs> got duck. A duck. duck. A duck is in there. I love them. We got our mahi carcasses, just filling it up with carcasses that I've been collecting. And you can see they just totally cleaned this trap out. There's not a single piece of meat left in this trap at all. They just were hungry, cleaned out. On to the next. Put traps in the water, you get a workout. I see a crab. Nice. All right, guys, one, two, three. A nice big one, heck yeah. Nice. And some catfish, and no, these catfish are not really good stone crab trap baits at all. And I also just wanna talk about something really serious right at the second, um, and I wanna make you guys aware. Whoa, I just lost my balance for a second. My sister, Megan, who has been on the channel before, you guys call her Meg Sizzle. She was living with me for quite a while when my dad passed. Anywho, she is currently married and she is 18 week pregnant and unfortunately, within the last 24 hours, she got into a very severe car accident. They were on a head-on collision. I don't have the full details yet, but basically what's happening is she's in critical care. She's broken her femur, her wrist, she has heart complications, and she also had a brain bleed. So they did emergency operation and did brain surgery, removed a piece of her skull, so that way we could reduce the swelling. It's really bad, and they have a GoFundMe set up currently, so just please pray for my sister Megan and her husband Isaiah and her baby. And uh, anyhow, I'll link all that information down below. But I just found out, and I wanted to share that with you guys too. All right, let's pull this crab out, put him in the well, and go get the next one. Yeah, poor Meg Sizzle, and but Darcy was getting to say about the catfish is uh, the cat, we don't like to use the catfish as bait. Darcy has decided it's a terrible bait. Yeah. And uh, like I probably said in the first half of the video, you know, Darcy likes to use pelagic fish and ducks, mostly this. And lizards, but anyway, we don't know how the ducks and lizards do, but again, pelagic fish she loves. Mahi, that mutton, that kind of stuff. Woo! Just catfish galore. Look at their noses beat up from getting stuck in the trap. All right, well, it's gonna happen. Part of fishing, crabbing is fishing. Right, and like, just like we said before, you know, we put the traps, you know, just like fishing, you gotta find good spots. And this spot wasn't that great, but typically on this flat, it's okay. So we'll try this trap one or two more times. So if it doesn't get any fish or doesn't get any crabs, I mean, then we'll move it, that's it. It's a work in progress. Putting to bring you some new innovations this year. This is the tongs. They got these funny tongs on the end for grabbing crabs. We have already discussed how we don't want to use these for crabs because we like Dossie to do it herself because she's so dangerous. But this is awesome for the catfish. We had a whole, last two or three years, I've been grabbing them with pliers and just was scared the heck out of those dumb things because they poke you and you get a venom. But yeah. this is the catfish I've been thing. stung very This costs about good. 20 bucks. And so far, it's saving about three hours today. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> we're flying through this. This Let's is a money go. maker. This makes money. All right, throw it back in, woman. Get oh. to work. Jeez. <laughs> We're doing a special shot like this. Boom. On there to the next. 
This is crab view. No, catfish view. Huh. It's also the season, the holiday season coming up real fast, y'all. So make sure to check out my website for those fish hook and anchor bracelets, the awesome fish hook pendants I make, and the custom stone crab necklaces that I make out of these stone crabs that I catch. Sell necklaces on the website, so check that out if you're interested. Let's open it up. We got two crabs and leftover fish. I'm shocked. That was a weird throw. Halfway done. Nice. So we're not getting like a large quantity of crabs in here as I have in years past. Sometimes I've got eight, nine, ten crabs in there. Five is about the average. We're getting a couple crabs per trap, but you know what? They're quality crabs with a lot of juicy meat in those claws. All right, just gonna grab them. That's my girl. That's our girl. Wrestle that crab out of there. Yeah, that's a quality claw right there. Nice. That is a large size claw. It looks like my stone crab necklace. I thought you put them on your breast. Beautiful. I'm not getting pinched. <laughs> <laughs> and that one might be a keeper too. And by the way, y'all, you'll see at the end, but we're only going to take one off this guy. All right, he's going in the well. Yeah. I would just add, maybe you guys didn't realize, but when Joshi makes his jewelry, show you this jewelry again, so stand yeah. up for a second. Like you see this crab claw? Yeah. That is from the actual crabs that we catch on the water. Like that claws, the claws from that crab, we're gonna make so much necklace, okay? Yeah. And she like, we, she takes, I eat the, I eat the meat. Yeah. <laughs> That's my part. Eat the meat. And then we, she, I save this out. for her and she dries it out. She puts glue in there and she puts the attachment on there and then she like, she'll axe it, whatever the heck she does. Epoxy. And then she makes this bead and even the bracelet, she ties, if you order a bracelet, Darcy is going to tie every single bracelet herself, herself. He makes everyone herself. Yeah. Did I say that? Don't and, forget about the fish hook pendant. And the fish hook and the silver mm -hmm. necklaces too. Anyway, she makes the whole thing and she puts it in an envelope herself and she signs the card herself and it's all very personal and so and she really gets into it. So anyway, if you need want some you of that stuff. You want to support us. I was just saying, it's really, and, and you guys don't understand how the, the work she puts into it. Anyway, I, I won't, I'll stop blabbing. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Get those crabs out. Use those girl muscles, pick that trap up. Oh, you shut up. Oh, there's a lot in here. No, there's not. See the legs. Oh, I was at a butt shot there. There's not a lot. They're up high on the trap. See them. Holy crabs, though. Heck yes. We got two. There's Ooh. one up here in the corner. It's actually a different crab right there. He's a little purple. A little different species. All right, y'all. Next trap. Second to last trap. And this is the trap that I had iguana carcass in. And if you watch that iguana hunt, you better watch that hunt. That was epic. And you know why I know it's to the, he was in here? <laughs> you see all those coconut seeds? Look at those coconut seeds. He was just loaded. His stomach was loaded with coconut seeds and they did not come out of the trap. That's hilarious. And you know what? He produced stone crabs. So now I know so they're good for uh, stone crab bait. So I'll use them in the future. You can even see his bones in here. It's like his jaw right there. Maybe we should do an iguana jaw. Wicked cool. We could. That would be high level. That we could. We could do an iguana, a European mouth. Do his whole body like with the tail and everything. It oh looks so goodness. cool like a dinosaur. Can we say. do that? Well, you could do it, but it's going to take you forever. I don't know if stay together. Yeah. You got to glue it. Yeah, we just did an alligator European skull mouth. I don't know if yeah. you're going to see that video yet, but stay tuned for it. Either watch it or stay tuned. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's get him out. All right, guys. Final trap number 10. And also, not one of them was broken into. Let's see if this one was. Nope. So far, so good. Let's see what we got in this last one. I see a stone crab. Well, it looks like we got some nice keeper quality ones today. Let's open it up. But I don't think the big flush of crabs are here yet. Just, just shows me, because each trap, I think the most I had was four in one trap. So at least kind of figuring out the stone crab fishery and what the stone crabs do throughout the year. And it should just only continue to get better from here on out to the end of the year. More and more stone crabs. We got two. There might be a keeper claw on one of those guys. We're gonna have to check it out. Yeah. All, all right, we got all the traps emptied. Yep. Let's check these, let's get these crab claws. Took some pictures, that's why my hair's down. Yes. See, it's all straight. Beautiful. Ooh, we, got new, right. we got a new sponsor we're gonna talk about later, Hair Club. Yes, very excited. Yes, pretty awesome. So anyway, but let's get to the crabs. 
Is that Put oil that leaking out of our boat, baby? What? Oil's leaking out of our boat, baby. Oil's leaking out of our boat. I hate when that happens. Look at this. All right, Darcy always says an alarmist for my engine. Anyway, so we got this the crab measurer, the same one with the, for the lobsters oftentimes. And you, you got to buy a new one, like Darcy said before, because they're an eighth, the limit is an eighth bigger. I actually just cut this a little bit because of the uh, width of a saw blade, like a table saw, is about an eighth of an inch. I mean, double check it and everything, of course. But uh, I just whittled these ones down a little bit. Now, let's see what we got. This is a female. Yep. Carpus is nice and oval shaped, and that's why she carries her apes. And this Short one. Short side. Nope, that's lobster. Oh, you see? You got to watch out, guys. All right. So look, see this one is plenty, plenty big. You see, you put it right here on this elbow joint and that one's plenty big. Yep. Let's check the other one for the heck of it. Of course, we only keep one. And nope, that just one, short. Just with short. The, with the new regulations, he's not a keeper now. Right. It would have been last year. Now show him how you break it off, Darcy. Yep. Fold in the one claw, cover it so it can't get you. Take the other claw and I just like to stand up and or you know keep them in the middle of the air like here. And then just break. Perfect. All right, let's get another quickly. Yeah. Now a hot tip with that is, you know, Darcy does that all the time on the boat. Now breaking that off, it takes a little bit of practice and it's a little bit of a twisting motion, but we don't like to have anybody else do it on the boat just so Darcy gets really good at it. Because if you mess that up, you're gonna pull out some of the meat or break the joint and the crab is gonna die because salt water is gonna enter this hole you just made in them. Otherwise, it's gonna grow back, okay? so. Uh, that's just our practice. We always like to have the same person doing it, even if we have guests, because it keeper. just saves the crap. All right, that happens. Yep, too new short. regulations, not keeper. Too short. It would have been. It's two now. You know, just, you know, and you don't have to keep every claw. If it's marginal, you know, sometimes they're not really even big enough to worth it to cook them and clean them and eat them. There's not a lot of meat in there sometimes. So, you know, just like you don't want to clean a tiny fish. Same thing with the claws. Let's see what we got. Do you want to show this one with one claw? Yeah, see, like this one has one claw. Again, they grow back, so it's a re, you know renewable resource, like Darcy likes to say. This yep. one. Yep. Dang it. Dang it. Keep on. Keep on. Not even close. This one. Keep on. Yep. Keep her. Keep on. Keep on. Fold in the claw. We're just gonna keep the one. Yep, and it's a downward motion, and it kind of just pops right out of its socket. These are meant to pop out, especially when they get in battle. You get a clean break right there, and that will regrow and regenerate. All right, buddy, see ya. Hey, y'all, here's the monster. Freaking first trap produced an absolute pig. Now, I have caught a few of these over the course of the year, over the years, but it's very rare, especially like where I live. In the Florida Keys, you're gonna catch more, you know, this of this size. Um, up here where I live, you know, close to the Palm Beaches, we just don't have the numbers like they do in the Florida Keys. Like, he's just not gonna let go of my net. Come on, dude. Look at this claw. This thing is a beast. That, that top part is as big as my hand, my finger, basically. It's massive. He has original claws on him. And I can tell because he's got this, oh my God, let go, dude. They have a crushing power of like 22, whatever, 22,000 per square foot or something crazy. Absolute giant. Just look at that beautiful claw. Big as my hand. Big as a beer can. All right, let's break this off. He came and get my hand around his body. He's a big, big, full grown crab. Let's show you to a, with a real person, like a normal sized adult like me. That's like a normal sized claw look right at there. My hand. Now guys, I have very difference. big hands, so this is a huge claw. Huge. <laughs> so we got a total of one, two, claw, three, four, five, six, seven. Not bad. I would say that's successful, that's, for sure. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. Again, Morton, this is like a really bad place to, to crab, but the other places where you are is probably better, so don't worry. Yeah, and we do want to get into blue crabs too and all that good stuff, and, right. um, and it should only get better from here on out. I think our biggest record is 24 in one pool. Yeah, so. but again, it's a great idea for you guys to do it with your with your spouse or your girlfriend or your boyfriend and your Kids, family. Yeah. And everybody can do this and it's a great easy day on the water. Yeah. And this is a how to crab video. Again, we have a video on how to make all the traps which we did with Darcy's dad. Yes. And in the future, we'll do a how to cook the crab videos and clean them and cook them. But also in the meantime, I'll put a link up here, up here for that. And uh, so you have all that information. But uh, it's, the sun's going down, got a beautiful sunrise, sunset. So beautiful. Ooh. So beautiful. I got crab blood on me. All right, we got to get in. It's getting yeah. dark. 
All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed all that stuff we talked about, stone crab necklaces and all that good stuff, down in the description <laughs> below. And until our next awesome adventure, follow your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. I need a land shark. I need a, another kiss. No kiss, land shark. Ew.